Psychiatric disorders are important because they're common. One in four Americans have mental illness. These are the chronic disorders of young people. The problem is we don't really understand the causes of most of these disorders. The genetic background is uh, very complex. In order to develop new rational treatments, you have to understand your enemy, if you like. The human genome is giving us a historical opening and a problem that had seemed closed and intractable for so many years. The announcement of 108 places in the human genome where there are vulnerabilities uh, for schizophrenia, it just multiplies what we knew by a factor of 10. For the first time, science is going to really be able to deliver on the promise of understanding the basis of psychiatric disease. We have remarkable technologies that will allow us to take these genetic discoveries forward. The data coming from the genetics are going to create the best targets for the best drugs. The discoveries of the genes now will spawn exactly the same kind of revolution in treatment as we were in cancer research in 1982. All of a sudden, we have a real platform on which to stand. Hope is very real now. What's been going on up in Boston has been particularly exciting. The pace has picked up sharply over the past decade. This is an unbelievable moment in time for psychiatric research. I can't put into words the hope that this brings for new therapeutics. What this is really about is coming up with some new answers for patients. I think that opportunity is going to draw all kinds of people into this field. We've got a whole new generation of people coming into this field who are well-trained, know how to ask difficult questions, and they know how to attack them. We need neurobiologists, biochemists, molecular biologists, stem cell biologists. Funding agencies for other philanthropists to really join this battle. The only way to success is to work together. The Broad Institute can't do this alone. No scientific group or institute could do this alone. There's an enormous amount of work left to do, but we're no longer in a dark age. In the coming years, we're going to see a tremendous revolution in our understanding and eventually treatment of psychiatric disease. Thank you.